Hello. You must recently came across video like this of a large screen in the street which uh, plays videos and which create an illusion of real 3D stuff inside them. We call this anamorphic effect. In this video, I will try to simplify and explain the way you can create such effect using any 3D and 2D program uh, programs you have. Some measurements are very important, of course, such as the actual screen resolution and the position or, and the size of uh, the screen, as well as the best angle where you consider your viewer or your audience going to be looking at the screen, which defines the camera position as well as um, the lens used in uh, this technique. The usual way is to put everything inside what we call a box, the, which can help exaggerating the uh, 3D sense of things and to create some kind of borders which are outside of the main area where you will do your uh, animation and then you try to push your objects to occupy um, other than the space which is like logically allowed for them in the screen. But what we will do is that we'll discuss how to do this in a flat screen. The principles are the same and we will be able to create this illusion simply by just modifying the rendered image. In our technique, we will be able to modify a video which is recorded in such screen and make it look like 3D. In our example, we will be discussing something flat, not within a box, but instead of rendering our image from this angle, we will be rendering everything from angled view. And then we will do certain kind of modifications to the borders of this image, then apply everything to our perspective. So we will get the result we expect and 3D effect, the 3D anamorphic effect we are aiming to have. Now let's jump to the 3D software. Of course, uh, you can do it in any software. I'm doing it here uh, in 3ds Max, but of course you can do it in Houdini or Maya or Blender or Cinema 4D. The same principle applies. I'm recording this video to explain the concept of the anamorphic effect. Imagine that we have this, which is the billboard, and the billboard size here is exactly 3280 by 960, which is the full resolution of the video we want to display on this billboard. So assuming that the audience will be looking at this billboard from angle, like in this camera, and our 3D elements are in a certain area of the screen. So what we do usually, um, we render everything from front view like this and everything should fit with our frame like if we will just uh, see how things gonna work without this perspective we can go here and see the save frame so all we need to do is to fit this within the frame then everything we will render it will be display with the original resolution and everything works well but for us to create the anamorphic effect we will do this differently we will look at everything from this camera and by looking from this camera the perspective will be um, angled like this and if you look at it from here we can see that if we will just fit it within the resolution which is 3280 by 960 this is 960 so we have the full resolution here but because it's uh, angled this area will be out of the frame so what we will do is that we will include this area inside the frame so by increasing this number like this so now we have more area to render and what we will do is that after we render this frame let's say this is the render we will save it here and in 2D program 
in the After Effect or in Nuke. What we will do is this. We will bring this frame, of course, the animation, all the frames, distort the frame to the original resolution. Go here and do the transform by bringing all the frame again to the original resolution. So if I will say perspective or distort, this is restoring the original size of the screen, which is 3280, 3280 by 960. When we have this resolution, which is the full frame now, and we can expect it to be like this, almost of course we have to push it here a little like just a little here and that's it so when we have the full frame now this is the full um, image we have and when we display this image on the video that will create some kind of a perspective or what we call the anamorphic effect which works as the example videos to continue just with applying this in 3d I will do this so basically this is the box and our head is here I will apply the picture we rendered into let's think of this as actual billboard and how the image gonna look so this is the image actually the one we rendered there and I will just put it here so if I will hide the head the 3d head this is how the picture gonna be shown on the screen and for us just to see exactly how things are happening this is the actual picture it's twisted and distorted but when you look at it from the camera it will look totally um, a perspective I expect when things are moving and have some some kind of animation we will have this effect or we'll see it but you know I can't just really confirm that until we have actual animation and we see the results so that's why it needs some 